Taurus, hi. So this is going to be a reading for October 10th through the 16th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Taurus, what's going on? <clears throat> Hold on a sec. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Ten of Cups. Quite ironic with what I see here. Because uh, that talks about happiness. That talks about, you know, an energy of the heart. Um, possibly tied up to other energies. Now, in the recent past, the Seven of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Queen of Swords, uh, someone walked away from something quite logical, quite cutting, quite, this is how it's got to be, bye, you know? Uh, I don't know if that's you, I don't know if that's someone you're dealing with, but whoever that is in the current situation, you get the Four of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Wands, um, there's a sense of being hurt here possibly by their own action, whoever that is. I don't know if there's regret here, but there's definitely the acknowledgement of, you know, I kind of cut it off like that. It was pretty rough, pretty drastic. And then again, the energy, the overall energy of this reading is about love, about emotions, and there weren't any in the recent past, in, in this action, I mean. So there's a little bit of pain because of that. And there's some um, energy exchange here. So there could be a possible attempt to communicate or, um, I don't know, not necessarily communication, but it, it does come through as an energy exchange based on, look, I feel like crap because blah, 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 blah. So it could be that <clears throat> this energy exchange could be happening through dreams, through who knows what. It doesn't have to be communication, but the desire for communication is there. Um, <clears throat> In the immediate future, the strength card, the hangman, the two of swords. Okay. Um, kind of pausing. Someone's taking a break. Someone's taking a serious break to possibly look at themselves, at the situation, you know, from a pretty neutral stance. Um, the problem is, even while trying to do that, there's a whole lot of overthinking. So the mind is, keeps on trying to interfere. Um, the hangman usually is one of those, okay, let's back up, let's chill, and let's let things as they are and look at them as they are. Um, and then I see the two of swords stepping in, kind of like, you know, but what if things were like this and not ha as they are? But what if things are supposed to be this way and this way and this way? But what if, what if, what if, what if? That's the two of swords in there. So it doesn't really allow for the energy to hangman of the hangman to really step in there. It kind of interferes with it. Um, let's see. Let's clarify. Let me see the Ten of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, the King of Wands. Um, I mean, there's desire for happiness. There's, It's like me looking in the direction of happiness, seeing it and being like, okay, I'm going to start walking there. That's what's happening here on your side. Um, it is tied up to at least one other energy, if not more, but at least one. Um, and I see you wanting to head in that direction. Okay, let's see the Seven of Swords in the recent past. Oi, the Page of Pentacles, the Hangman, the Five of Wands, 
It's interesting because the hangman shows up again. It almost feels like you, all of this time, you actually wanted to take a step back to give yourself enough time or space to really allow for things to play out. In the past, that didn't work out for sure with the five of wands because there, there's an inner conflict like no tomorrow. So as you're trying again to step back, I feel like this inner conflict that possibly turned into outer conflict um, took you really away from the situation completely. Um, let's see the Queen of Swords. <laughs> Trying to... Okay, no, that's not going to work. Let's see the Queen of Swords in the recent past. Yeah, the Strength card, the Moon, the Three of Cups. It's interesting because the action that took place here was actually the opposite of the feeling that was at stake. So it's like me wanting to go out in my backyard here, really, really feeling that desire of I really need to go out and doing everything I can to not go out. You know, um, it's kind of like that. So the uh, feeling is that of coming together the action is fuck off i'm going out bye i'm going away from this um and quite drastic at that but man the the feeling and the desire were quite hidden quite buried uh let's do the four of swords in the current situation Uh, the Lovers, the Knight of Cups, the Temperance card. Okay, so there's a whole lot of healing going on on your side. There's a whole lot of love under that healing that's coming through. And it is tied up to one situation, one other person. Um, it's probably been coming through for a while for you. Or it's going to stay for a while. Um, but whatever kind of a healing this is, it is surrounding this connection you have with someone and it's bringing in a lot of love um let's do the nine of swords ace of pentacles seven of cups two of wands okay so the, the little stress factor here on your side is that of how do i uh how do I fix? Fix is not a good word. How do we get to a place of restructure here? How do we start over? And you're looking at all of these options and you get lost in them. And that's why time is lost. Because as you get lost in those options, nothing's happening, really. And, there, and then comes the frustration because nothing's happening. You're frustrated about it because it's like, well, I want it to happen. But nothing's happening. I wonder why. Not realizing that because you're looking at a thousand options to make this happen, you know? Um, let's do the Eight of Wands. For the Eight of Wands, you get the Knight of Wands, the Chariot, the King of Cups. Um, this energy exchange is definitely playing out. Uh, I feel like it's playing out more in the energetic field rather than the physical one. Um, there's definitely ooh, kind of mind-blowing energy of love here that's um, shared between you and another person, which I feel like it's tied up to this connection here. So it's definitely ongoing. Um, again, I don't see it coming through physically. It wants to. It wants to, but it's... Uh, see it coming through as that if it's coming through as anything it's not going to be that energy right there it's probably going to be hey you know how's the weather where you're at even though i'm 10 minutes away oh it's you know it's raining how about you oh it just stopped i don't know stupid shit like that i i, I have no idea if there's anything in the physical uh let's do the strength card in the um 
immediate future. The Seven of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, recognizing that maybe fear of abandonment, fear of failure, fear of all sorts of things is coming through in this fear. Um, so it is attached to your past action of cutting something quite dr drastically and having the strength to really recognize where that came from and that it belonged to your own fear of who knows what. And stepping into that realization is almost like, oh, you know, that, that sense of, oh my God, um, and healing that or trying to heal or trying to work with it. It definitely places you in a more balanced place within yourself where I don't see the conflict anymore that was there attached to that while it was happening. Now it's kind of like looking back at that and recognizing this is why this happened. This is why I did things in this way. You know, where I see a whole lot of fear coming through uh, on top of that action of walking away. All right, let's do the hangman in the uh, immediate future. Page of Swords, the Hierophant, the Eight of Wands. Yep. This time around, you're doing it. You are taking that step back that you tried to do in the past there too. But because you were probably in the middle of it all, you know, and then the fear took over. Who knows what the hell happened, but not great things by what I see there. Now, this time around, all of those energies are coming back. You're handling them in a very different way. The minute you start acknowledging and recognizing what took over at that time, you're 80% healed in that, you know? So you've got better chances here because you are the Hierophant to do what you were planning to do back then or the energy of this was available back then. The energy of, hey, don't rush, take a step back and deal with things from that place, you know? And instead, I feel like you felt that, you did that, but the fear took over and pushed you right back in. You know, uh, this time around, you're not doing that because you're catching the fear. You're still standing there back, you know, away from the situation, kind of looking at it. And you're coming in because you want to, not because you're scared, because you want to. This is very different than the past situation. Same energies coming through, which is quite ironic because the universe kind of does that. It's like, okay, we'll give you the same treatment let's see how you deal with it this time around and you're dealing in a very different way uh and you're coming out possibly bring in this communication that wants to come out or not even communication something more than hey how's the weather is it raining um you know as to the two of swords you know you can talk about how the weather is going to be in a month from now who knows um, but, uh, let's see, two of swords, nine of pentacles, eight of cups, king of pentacles. It, it, you're still pretty much confused about, because you, definitely your energy is tied up to another energy here. And then you're showing me confusion about, but, you know, stepping into this completely, will I lose myself in this? Like, do I give away my freedom? Only if you want to, it's your choice, it's your freedom. You know, there's nothing to be confused about. There's again that that whole sense of confusion about almost like this has a hold on you or it's, it's keeping you a prisoner of something. No, you still have you, you're still here. You're still showing up here. It's your choice if you abandon yourself for this. You can still have this, you can still have you. You know, I know we're taught, we're not taught uh, independence through a relationship. Mm -hmm. We're definitely not. And it's something we got to figure out on our own. And a lot of the times fear shows up again and tells us, oh, you give yourself to this, you give yourself away completely. Who the fuck said? You know, we do. It's our energy. It's our power. It's a matter of, do we give it away? Do we not? Do we keep that? Do we keep that? Because we can. Um, let's see what the universe has to close it off. Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, King of Swords. That's what kept you, for the most part, 
very practical about things you know when dealing with especially something tied up to the heart um that's what i feel like that's the main reason that you stayed so hooked up to the mind because it gave you that sense of i have control so i can keep my independence from this place because if i give my heart away to this i'm a goner so there's some sign of some sort of twisted logic behind that that kept you away from aligning with how you felt you know um which we all have we all have the need to stay in control because otherwise who knows what's gonna happen we're gonna lose ourselves um you're kind of showing me this is how i've been functioning so that i don't lose my independence so that i don't lose myself i didn't give my heart the freedom to choose to express itself and you didn't even realize that that's how you actually lost yourself completely you know your connection to self is your heart so interesting but that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.